Welcome to Latin with Andy, Code Breakers. These videos are to help you follow along with the Code Breakers at home worksheets. So if you've not downloaded them, please click the link, purchase them, and subscribe so that you can further enhance your Latin experience. Today we will be talking about the third declension and the gender of its nouns. But first, of course, vocab review. Our first word is lex legis, law. An easy way to remember this is to think of the legal system, which has to do with the law. Next we have rex regis, which means king. You guys know what a T-Rex is, the king of the dinosaurs? That's an easy way to remember that rex means king. How's it been going? You've been practicing your third declension, working on declining those nouns, right? I hope you have, because good code breakers always look for patterns, so keep on looking for those similarities, those things that repeat, those things that are similar to other declensions. To help you memorize these faster, those will be really helpful looking for those similarities. Let's practice declining veritas, veritatis, which means truth. First, we can practice finding the gender. Truth does not have a natural gender, so we go to the nominative singular, which ends in an S. The S follows our S-O-X rule, so this word is feminine. Okay, now remember, when we want to decline a third declension noun, we start with the nominative singular and put that unique form in there. So let's write that down first. Now, we can fill in the rest of the gaps with our stem, where it taught. Write that all the way down, and then we can add in our third declension noun endings. Is, e, m, a, eis, um, ibis, eis, ibis. And then we can add in our translations. Great work. Let's look at these nouns and see if we can identify their gender. First, let's just look at the meanings of these nouns and check for natural gender. Number one is king. Is a king a male or female? Well, yes it is. It's a male, so that means it is masculine. Number two, is a man a man? Why? Yes, a man is a man. That means that this noun is masculine. <laughs> How about truth? Uh, no. Grass, river, night? No, I don't think so. And flower. Even though flower seems like a feminine type of word, it's not. It does not have a natural gender, so we have to now go to the nominative singular. Now let's move down our other rules when there isn't a natural gender, starting with whether or not these nouns end in ER or OR. Okay, Veritas does not, Grumman does not, Flumen, no, Knox, no, Floss, no. Okay, well, that means that none of these nouns follow the ER or OR rule. Okay, let's look at the SOX rule. Veritas ends in an S. That means it's feminine. Cool. Grauman does not end in an S-O-X, neither does Flumen. However, Nox ends in an X, which means that na that noun is also feminine. Flos Floris also ends in an S, however, we see in the parentheses an M there as an exception, which means that that noun is actually going to be a masculine, so pay attention to those nouns with a marked gender. Okay, our last rule is the L-A-N-C-E-T rule. Okay, Grumman ends in an N, that means it's neuter. And Flumen also ends in an N, so that means it is also neuter. So this is one way that you can go through your nouns and check for gender. Just go one rule at a time, always starting with the natural gender. Great job, code breakers. Remember to review your vocabulary cards, practice declining your third declension nouns, and remember to always, always start with the natural gender of a noun before you apply any extra rules. See you next time.